I fought in your backyard there, Mike, up in Chicago, up in Chi Town. I believe, right? I get a phone call. It's like, you know, hey, we got a fight for you. Um, this guy named Ed Kim's putting on a fight. Never heard of him. Like, who's, oh, he's a new promoter. I said, oh, okay, Ed Kim sounds like a, an, a, an established gentleman, knows what's going on. So I started r- wondering, okay, because they were offering pretty damn good money at the time. And I was thinking, this is like twice what I'm getting paid in Japan. You know what I mean? So what's going on? And uh, I said, I don't know if I trust this, but then I hear Monty Cox has about four guys on the card. Turns out to be like six. He's got like Rich Franklin. You got Laverne Clark. I think that's who I was fighting. Travis got. Franklin was on that. Yeah. Like Brad Gum, whatever the guy's name was, or some same, uh, just a bunch of, a lot of UFC veterans were on the card. I was like, oh man, this sounds legit, you know? So I'm in. Train, I was like, Laverne Clark, that, you got to understand, if you look Laverne Clark up, not That's really. a bad man. But back in the day, I think he was like three and one in the UFC, you know, and, I, and he just, he was, a, he was a good boxer who could fight, man, good wrestler, actually, and just a good athlete. But I'll tell a quick story. Back in the days with, when the UFC, you could wear shoes, he actually, I don't know what type of accident he got into, but he lo- he did a UFC fight with shoes and like a lost, Two toes that he had that were cut off that he crazy glued shut. Laverne really? Clark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's definitely a bad man. He was from Iowa over there. I mean, and, uh, you know, I think Davenport with the, some weird shit stuff went down. So, anyway, <laughs> so, we fight, yeah. so I'm like, all right, it's going to be a tough fight, man. It's going to be a tough fight. So, you know, I train, you know, I go out there, I win my fight. I'm super excited that, uh, first of all, nobody showed up. I don't know where they dropped the ball. Was it advertising? Or what? I mean, he had a great card, great fighters, but nobody. Not a up. single poster. Not a single poster was up. Chris, there was more people. I was there. There was more people working the event and participating in the event than there was in the audience. Yeah, I, I, if you said you were there, I must have heard you cheered because you were the one. <laughs> So afterwards, I'm like, oh, this dude took a bath here. That sucks. So I go, well, I need my check, you know, so uh, or I need my money. So he paid everybody in check. I was like, all right, didn't think much of it until when everybody on the check, everybody on the card's check bounced, you know. I was like, what? how are we going to get this guy back? The guy bounces everybody's check, files bankruptcy, goes into hiding, never to be seen from again. So I don't know what happened, but – Somehow you're supposed to have that money in escrow. They said they saw some receipt where that was, and then he took it out. I'm like, that's not how that works. But this is why commissions got involved. And I was just shocked to see, like, Monty Cox would be involved with something where people weren't getting paid. So maybe his people did. I don't have any idea. I know I didn't get paid. I'm still pissed off about it, you know. So if I see my kid, you can you go up and kick him in the nuts and say, yo, Chris, like, five grand. You, you know what we should do? We should try to find him on Facebook. Oh, we should do it now. <laughs> I guarantee he's there. I uh, guarantee he's there. He takes, it, it went away. Man, it went away. We're still looking for you, bud. I was like, man, rip off rip off the Girl Scouts or some old late grandma. You don't rip off a bunch of fighters, man. They're going to try to find you at some point. And, like, at least <laughs> I had a job. You think Laverne Clark's not looking for your ass right now? <laughs> I guess. You know, maybe that's what we do. We set up our Patreon, you know, for our subscribers. Drivers and they throw money and we send Laverne Clark on a Greyhound to go see a Kim and, and we just video it. It'd be really good content <laughs> for our channel. 